Hello there, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Why am I sounding so unepic? I don't care. On what? Why? 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 Why April? Well, hello! I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dark place as this. <laughs> Yeah, go commit freaking. I don't know. It would be better if no one actually visited you. So. It's really quite moving. Not! You stinking lawyer! I hope you die! Okay. Have you come to laugh? Yes! Laugh at the fallen Miss May! I guess she's mad. No, not really. There is something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. Yeah, if this will actually work in her. <laughs> look how scared he is. Like, <laughs> look how scared he is there. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then? Hmm? For, start, for starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? I don't know, I just. <laughs> easy peasy. Okay, let's. Let's, um. Talk. I don't want to talk with you, but. I will have to. <sighs> I guess I will have to talk with her. Do I really have to talk with her? Mm. This is bad. I don't wanna. It's man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Mm. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way. Uh, what? Ha <laughs> mm, Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Do I actually have something to get her to talk? Nah, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't freaking have anything. The wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on me as phone, you freaking human? Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned at a lawyer school, hmm? Creep! This woman is impossible to talk to. Yeah, 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 she is. Your attitude. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. <gasps> that does it! Bottom feeling scum sucking lawyer! Button. I can't tell that she have a thing against lawyers or just against me. I don't know. But she probably hasn't got a thing against lawyers because she seemed to fall in love with Edgeworth, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's it. Uh, I have nothing to do anymore. I don't know. Why is the heart of you shared like. You know, just. Freaking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Where do I go? What? I don't know, but there's a. Wait, what? There was a painting there, though. September 7. There was a painting. Well, it looks like Grossberg is out today again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Okay, so I see two new things the painting is missing, and there's a photo. Okay, let me just see the painting. Wait a second. Yeah, and he was so passionate about this painting. He like loved it. You know, he loved it. Hmm. I want to see the photo. Photos. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Two photos? There's one photo. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. Hmm. BL6 incident 
Exhibit A, the all six incidents. Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. I for sure don't want to leave them alone because they might be something. Wait a second. What's, what? Isn't this the picture of the guy that killed Mia? Was it? Mm, okay, that's the, that's, the, that's the right picture. I'll just uh, take the second picture. Okay, I think this is the guy who killed Mia. <laughs> because when we saw him strike her, he, he had purple hair and he had like a pink... Yeah, swap photos. I mean, yeah, okay. So, wait, I just wanted to check because the. I just wanted to check the room out in your fucking. Thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the gate waters rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, a reputation will swell as the whole world where the murderer is a wiretap. What? We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought murder, who brought the murderer ice coffee. <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> Can you look at this guy's face? Like, he... <laughs> He's literally ready to be famous. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Yeah, examine. See that? Huh? There's still a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. Ah, uh, oh, I pressed it. Ah, please, Dad. Uh, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror, a hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. Is he thinking? Is he actually gonna do that? Because I can. Is this guy serious? I can believe it. Yeah, I don't believe it too. So everything here is alright then. Can I talk to you? The man with May. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Uh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer. <laughs> is that some guy? <laughs> I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. Both carry the scent of danger. There we are, in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that, take a look at this photo, Mr. Bellboy. Oh, hmm, that's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, I don't. Without a, doubt, without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. I, I guess if he's excited, then let him write it. Just don't give it to me. Well, sure, why not? Yes! <coughs> <I'm coughs> I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who saw the affidavit. Oh my god. Just hurry up and write it. Why does this guy even... <laughs> what? Okay. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Wait, so... So we now... We now can show it to me? But even Miss May can... I don't know what it was, but... Can we not show it to Miss May? I don't know, I'll just talk to you to get some more information. Uh, about Miss May. Oh, her? Sir, not to boss, but I knew the moment I saw her. She do it, I said. Do what? 
I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. Is that it? The hotel. Why would I need that information? I don't know. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. It's the profiles. So... I don't know why I just went and tried to see the profiles. But this guy is really old, I guess. He doesn't look like he's old, okay? He's just a fatty. I'm just gonna... Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel? Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great! Whatever thoughts in your tea set. Okay, I guess I'm gonna move somewhere. Attention center or fire the call office. I just wanna get more information before I talk to Miss May, okay? I just need more information just to destroy her, you know? You know what I mean? I need to get more information to destroy her. Okay. Looks like, okay, okay, okay. Detective Grouch is nowhere inside. The police really get this place working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. This place can't hurt to take a look around, though. Examine. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it, too. Yup, it's not worth it. I'm not. I'm not gonna get any information because uh, Miss May wasn't here. So I'll just go. You again? Can't you take a hit and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have spiky hair. You also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Okay, I'm gonna present this boy to her. Ba -da 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 -da. Have a look at this. Like I've said several times, I'm not telling you. What did you? Aha, uh -huh, a reaction. This is him, is it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you have proof that it was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof! Show me proof! It actually was... It actually was useful? Damn! Could you have a look at this? What's that? The Bellboy's affidavit! It tells us everything he saw. Such as the man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. Push her hard! This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. Oh, okay. If you don't talk, I'm taking the sniffle to the press. What? Even though he should have been with us to the murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure that press would have a field day with his reputation. I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fist in the air? <coughs> now, tell me about the man you are with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglo conglomerate Blue Corp. Red White? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder? Hmm. Um, I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. So, she, she, what, this, this guy's a criminal, what, so she wasn't the bad, the, the bad girl after all, 
she 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 was ordered to do the wiretapping and all the stuff what it's okay I'll just ask mr. white himself can you tell me where blue cap is located Mr. Red White at last finally a lead on this guy. April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Playboy's affidavit discarded. Okay. That was... <laughs> that was... We can now move to Blue Corp. Hmm, interesting. September 7, Blue Corp Inc. CEO's office. What's with the surreal decor? Wait, that's a painting. Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name? What's your name? I was just incredibly asking the title that you go by. Uh, right, Phoenix Wright. Mr. Wright, is it? All right, I see. What? Splendiferous? Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giant squee vocabulary? What is this guy's problem? This, this girl said that she likes guys with a big vocabulary. I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official? My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the worldly challenged. What fruitcake? Hmm, let me guess. You were the thirty fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. <clears throat> I just got better at reading, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna talk. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna get 40 minutes, <clears throat> and then it's gonna be continue. It's gonna be to be continued. Okay, um, Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue, Car Blue Carp, is she not? Correct, she was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phone stopping them is not in her job description. This guy's just going out. She does gather information for us as part of her duties, but I assure you we do not condone illegal methods. It is in fact Ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss Man to the scapegoat. Uh, night of the murder. <laughs> On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to Mundame details such as Diamond Place. My motto is don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put on the witness stand. Put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm. He raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? Should have seen the same thing as April May. Or maybe he did it. <sighs> oh ho ho. The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys. Playthings for my amusement. Oh, let's see if you're gonna say the same thing when you get arrested. Motherfucker. Or is he actually not gonna get arrested because. He like rules the world or something or I don't even know. Ah, like I don't even know. Okay, now I had a little break, and now I'm all right. So 
I'm going to ask you about what what is Blue Corp? What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Uh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say, we are the future. So, information? In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. <coughs> no shit, Sherlock. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and, this, and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Okay, your name is Red White and you almost don't have anything blue in your office. Fantabulistic! <laughs> what? Is it not? Yeah, this painting. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? The big painting on the wall over there. Uh, I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Mm, uh, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, Zippo, Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grotty Burger. What? Ah! Oh! Did he just. I thought he kidnapped me. Oh, he punched me! Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do? Uh, charge me with assault? Assault? Charge away, I welcome it! For it is you who will be found guilty! What? Heed my exposition! The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say, but I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grunny Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossberg, yes. And you must ask him, why is it that he this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you? Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit? Go now! Skedaddle! There is nothing more to discuss. I don't know if I'm doing the voice right, but he looks like a total douchebag. Okay, so I'm gonna present your own picture. I guess I'm just gonna leave and I don't know. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, maybe there. The bubble seems to be out. Huh? The sound of water coming from the shower. Oh, he I guess he is in the shower. Someone seems to enjoy washing the showers. Oh, I guess he's washing the showers. Well, okay. <laughs> Examine. I need. I need to see this if he's out. The screwdriver is still stuck in the drawer. I'd better not touch it. Not telling what the bellboy would do to me. Uh, I'll go to the test center. I don't want to see this guy ever again. Apparently, Miss May has been questioning. I doubt that they'll let me talk to her today. So where do I go? Maybe here? Is... <laughs> no? I guess I'll just examine stuff in Blue Corp. This guy is such a douchebag. Hmm? Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is that a replica? 
Ridiculosity. I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original worth five million for sure. Hmm. Okay. Now all these things there. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges special runner-up, best participation, judges cooperation hour, special good try prize. Hmm, the worst judges are special kind of stand out. Okay. Let's see this. A statue of a man holding up the world. The blue co-op sign suddenly stands out enough. The model of our man is of course Mr. White. Truly work of art, but probably too be beautacious for you to appreciate, correct? Yeah, that's a big vocabulary. <laughs> okay, I've checked this, this, let's see this. Oh, no, no clues here. Well, then, no clues anywhere. Uh, okay, so what is all this? I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk? My, my, this is quite the thing. It is modeled on my body, see? Well, is it sleek around the, around the chair not inspire you? Oh my god. <clears throat> so, what should I do now? I don't think I've got anything to expect, uh, inspect right now. Yep, nothing to inspect. Nothing to... Oh, maybe that. The top floor of a 20-story building. The view is quite presidential. Presidential. Okay, I'll just I'll just talk to you, I guess. Nope, I can't talk to. Mm. Oh, he told me to go to uh, Grossberg. He's disappointed. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. <coughs> Um, okay, oh, I fucked this voice. I'm not doing the voice for you. Oh, you! What's wrong? You look so pensive like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm, I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That is, that, that much is clear. Okay, can I talk to you? Today's trial, your refusal, Mr. Mr. White. So I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... Big painting. Or, I wasn't even my... I guess that's irrelevant. A big painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir... There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office of Blue Corp, Brad White's office. So, he noticed. I suppose I should have guessed he would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. You lovers! <laughs> oh, yes, you lovers. It's not something I can claim to understand, but to you and Mr. White are lovers. But you and Mr. <laughs> but you and Mr. White are lovers, Alan, aren't you? <laughs> Why is it so funny to me? <laughs> What? My boy! You sent a you send a painting to him as a sign. <laughs> a sign of undying love. My boy, please, you're letting your fancies run away with you. Where do you get these bizarre ideas? I don't understand how you could That's because I'm not, we're not don't be ridiculous! Enough. I'll swallow my pride and tell you all. I knew it! They are lovers! <laughs> yes! Yes, they are lovers. They are. No, we are not lovers! 
<laughs> Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in fighting people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. Did I want the back of the... DL6 incident. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. They're lovers. I knew it. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. Well, he doesn't have an, he doesn't have information on that people. I mean, people who haven't been born yet. Or, yeah. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. <laughs> what? They are bound and able to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is no more than the weight of many years. Oh, wow. You are lovers. You are lovers. You really are lovers. <laughs> you are the lovers of lovers. Okay, now today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night. You see, couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me, a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. Okay, your refusal. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. Uh, a right, Mr. Right? No, no, I'm sorry, it's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something, but you already said it. So. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Uh, really? Uh, really? <laughs> really, you do? Wow, he already, he already told you everything that happened and you're like, I knew it. <clears throat> okay. The DL6 incident. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye, yeah, Faye. Faye, right. Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could do for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. A murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is a DL6 incident. Hmm. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense the police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I, I told him. You told White? Well, really? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at me as office. 
Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Also, Mia's? Mmm, -hmm. interesting. That's very interesting. <sighs> Is he still in question? Is she still in questioning? Yep, she is still in question. Also, look how scared this guy is. Like, yeah. Okay. I, I I guess he wanted to look at me as office. So, fan call law offices. It's funny looking at this room. It seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. These two girls back said it will be clues. Should have another look. Okay, the only clue I can, the only clue I can see here is this pen. Just, just kidding. Okay, let's start from over here. Sky is blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Yep. Miss Faith put a plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. Yep, go water it. An old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made me cry when she saw it. Have to check out one of these days. Okay, Mia's desk perfectly clean as always. The only thing that's missing is Mia. Okay. <clears throat> All the cases that she'd ever worked in are filed in here. They're in alphabetical order. Order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? I don't know. Let's go from the top. See if there's uh, a record that catches my eye. <laughs> Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye. <laughs> a, B, F. Misty Faye, that's me and Maya's mother. Hmm. Hmm, should I take a look? Read it. I have tarnished the Faye name, leaving only these words my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that ruined my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grosberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. So she knew. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and co coercion. His name is... The record stops there. Interesting. That's really interesting. Maybe maybe because White was here, he like took everything. So he didn't want he didn't want anyone like looking at it. Okay, let's see. So Mia knew Grosberg. Yeah, of course she did. Of course she knew Grosberg. Okay. Let's see this. Let's see, J for S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. I'll leave it be. There's nothing much in there. Then... Okay. Or, or maybe actually, maybe actually skim it, cause I just need to see everything. Okay. Let's let's see. Skim it. Ah. Well, no harm in flipping through a bit. I guess the biggest parts here. And the end. Suicide? Oh. Why would you have that? What? Like, why would she do that? Okay, now she has a freaking. freaking. whatever. <clears throat> what surprised you so much? She was writing uh, most of these in pencil. What? Why? This is Mia's handwriting. But I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. Huh? Was he? So that's the clue he wanted us to search for him. That, that, that is. That is. Why drove them all to. I can use these newspaper clippings. Let's find the most disturbing one. Uh. But a politician's suicide? Okay. <clears throat> Let me just check him. TZ. T 
U I know W White. What? What surprise do? The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Okay, I'm just gonna. I, I got enough clues. So let's see, Miss May. I guess not. Well then. Um. Where do I go? Do I just, Mr. Lawyer? I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message is not yet per. I'm your fixed school. Stop bothering me. Try my patience further. I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent? Well, then I'm gonna present this newspaper clipping to you. Take that. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. Oh, yeah, we're onto something. He was embezzling, he was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. Well then. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Oh. Mr. White, I know what you, did to the, what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases of me investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, Dad and I. What a bizarre accusation, Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing now investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. That's why I'm in your office, idiot. Beep. Hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, they're all send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What if I sh what I should be going now is going after you. Cause you you, you killed her. Just what are you insinuating? I insinuating? What? Mia was on to you. She was skipping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping your phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously, mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be. Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it! <clears throat> we won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead. Please connect him to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir, one moment, please. Why, that's you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor? I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. But who, who is it? Is it Edgeworth? I guess. Is it Payne? Is it freaking. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. What's this about? Mm, the me, the me fake case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quite good. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but he could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of the chief prosecutors. I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Oh, 
I'm gonna be so happy when this guy gets arrested. I'm literally gonna be so happy. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association. You see, you'll be given a lawyer so stupidly in 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 that the day make even you look compet competent. <laughs> is this a joke? Uh, I feel faint. Detective Gomes to report, sir. Uh, butts, Harry Butts. Right, actually, Phoenix Wright, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right, sorry, pal. Butts was the murderer, right? He was proven innocent. Detective Gomes, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Faye. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Are you kidding me? It's Denver. Okay, okay, okay. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. Tomorrow. Why is going to set a trap for me? And the prosecution will be it, of course. Edgeworth included. So, is Edgeworth, like, white's the guy? Like, is Edgeworth getting blackmailed by white too? <laughs> I don't know. I refused, I had an idea. Right! Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya! Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes, it's all thanks to you. And now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you? I explain what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you. This has got too far! Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... <laughs> yeah, help me break out of here. here. Alright, okay, listen up, I want you to help me break out of here. You mean a jailbreak? Yeah, tonight's our only chance. Alright, huh? Oh, I'd better go- oh. Oh! <laughs> I forgot the voices. I'd better go get a hacksaw while the stars are still open. Oh, oh, and a rope ladder and a getaway car. Can you drive? Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I I'm kidding, it was a joke. For legal reasons, that's a joke. For legal reasons, that's a joke. For Siri, using D and Mafia, please don't kill me. That's a joke. No way. No, really, I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't any <clears throat> But I can't just sit here and do nothing! I've got to give that man a piece of my mind! Just a piece? Okay. Uh, then come to the trial tomorrow. Yeah, do it. Okay, I'll be there! I'll show them a finger too! Should I make you sound like. Oh my god, I'm so <laughs> Times may change, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's getting worse. Length, lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Proceedings, fucking my life, fucking. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day, most of a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. This fucking I, I I I just hate this guy. I just do. Though imagine if this guy didn't actually do it and we just took the wrong guy. 
This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. I don't know. Maybe it's to be continued.